Did you know that Crimea is neither Russian nor Ukrainian, and the native ethnicity of the peninsula still exists and has some very unique DNA? Crimean Tatars are a Muslim Turkic group who have inhabited Crimea for longer than either Russians or Ukrainians, and despite being only around 200,000 people due to deportations and population reduction they faced in Soviet Union, their DNA is insanely diverse. Crimean Tatars are made up of three sub-ethnic groups, each with its own unique set of genes and history. The southernmost ethnicity that is on the coasts was actually part of the Ottoman Empire and not the Crimean Khanate. As a result, their language is remarkably similar to Anatolian Turkish, and their DNA not only includes admixture from Ottoman Turks, but also from ancient settlements of German Goths, and even Genoese Italian traders who used to operate on the coast of Crimea. Their makeup is almost entirely West Eurasian. The second group that lives in the mountains of central Crimea are called Tats. They're the majority, and they descend from earlier Turkic tribes inhabiting Crimea, such as Pechenegs, Khazars, and Cumans, along with admixture from Circassians, Armenians, Armenians, and ancient Greek-speaking populations of the island. As a result, their language is highly similar to Kumik language of Dagestan and Karachay language as well. The third group that occupies the northern steppes of Crimea is called Nogai, and is the most recent addition they have formed during the Golden Horde and are a mixture of Turkic and Mongolic tribes that were prominent in the Horde. They have some Slavic admixture from raiding neighboring Russian and Ukrainian cities, but they have the highest share of East Eurasian admixture and are close to Uzbeks and Bashkirs genetically. Their language is almost entirely same as Kazakh and Karakalpak languages. 